Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to Midnight Tales Volume 3. Now, I played the first two a while back. It's a bunch of different games all packed into one full thing. So, if you don't like one, maybe you'll like the other. We're about to check it out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Because here we go! History mode? Welcome to the beginning. A different Christmas horror experience. Are you ready to start? Yes, I guess. History mode? Your mom's history mode? I lost my breath doing that intro, by the way. And this is from 616 Games. So, me playing... Playing 616 games is always a fun time because I love the silliness of their games. I love the randomness of it. And Rafael Braza, you're doing a, doing a, you know what that means? Rafael Braza, this is the start of every 616 game. I always start off in an ugly decorated room. There's something right there on the floor. Oh, I thought that was like a secret notebook or something. Okay, so let's get out of the room and let's see what we got over here. Hello, hello. Okay. Toilet with no faucet. I get it. I feel it. Can't go in there. This is definitely an ugly decorated house. Like, who puts a fridge right here? How are you even supposed to wash dishes? My ass would not fit in through here. I got a dumpy. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And I can't even leave. Okay. I can't make phone calls. But I can read Midnight Tales. But I hate reading. Hmm, excellent. I'm going to tell Sophie a story. Sophie? Who the fuck is Sophie? Sophie? Oh, hey, Sophie. Merry Christmas, my daughter. Daddy will read you stories. Look at me. Look at me. I am your father. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Let me sit. So let's start our night of Christmas terror. Oh, oh, Jesus. What's wrong with you? The doll. It's about a girl who hated Christmas and needed a lesson to learn. Why does she have a mask on? She got that Bane mask on. Oh my goodness. So the first game we are playing is called The Doll. And yeah, like I said, if you've never seen the first two Midnight Volume games, it's basically a bunch of little games all packed into one. I don't know if they're going to connect, but I remember when I played the first one. What's up, Santa Claus? And what's up, 4 Eye Freak? How's everybody doing today? The boss said, I'm glad you're enjoying the work. Thanks for taking the job today. It's Christmas. People coming and going. This is very profitable for the gas station. I don't care much for Christmas. I need money because Santa Claus won't pay my bills. Thank you, Kate. I found this Santa Claus doll thrown in the trash. People throw everything away. They don't value their money. I confess he's a little scary, but I'll be fine, Mr. Kareem. Now I have to go. My family is waiting. Merry Christmas, Kate. See you later, Mr. Kareem. And Merry Christmas to you, you filthy animal. Okay, let's put it back over there because, geez, that is creepy. Bye, Mr. Kareem. I love you! Say it back, Mr. Kareem. Say it back. Say it back or I'll kill you this Christmas! But that is Santa Claus with no eyes. Bro looking like he got buttholes for eyes. Here's our first customer. Hello, sir. Merry Christmas, girl. It's just another normal day, sir. How can I help you? Do not say that. Christmas is a day to help people be more human. I love the magic of Christmas. I love the magic of you shutting up. I'm happy for you, sir. Can I help you with anything? Ten bucks on pump two, please. Okay. Ten bucks on pump two. There you go. Happy holidays. God damn, that's a dumpy. Oh, I thought Santa Claus had his hand up like this. Like he was raising his hand like, hello. Oh, crap. This game is called The Doll. So I wonder if this bitch is gonna make any sudden moves. Huh? Come on, Santa Claus. If that is your real name. Bro got on a bomber jacket too, all stylish and shit. You know what? I don't like Santa Claus. You know when they have those mall Santas and you sit on his lap? That's creepy. Why would I sit on somebody's lap? I got my ass and the bottom of my balls on some grown man's lap and I tell him what I want for Christmas? Come on now. I don't have any pictures like that personally when I was a kid and I just want to thank my mom and dad. I want to shake their hands for not putting me through that mumbo jumbo because I will never sit on another grown man's lap. Trash cans are full. I'm going to empty them. Okay, no problem. We got four of them to go. That's not trash. That's Santa stuff. So, where do I put these? Oh, I put these in the back. Oh, the back is whack. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Where do I put this? Where do I put the basura? Hold on. I see trash cans, but I need to put it back in the dumpster in the back. Did that even make sense in the English language? I have no clue. In the middle of Christmas, and I'm picking up this disgusting garbage. I know. I mean, somebody has to pick up the shift. Might as well be you, right? There's number three. And here you go. 
And then we got one more to go. What does that say? Regular 98, no lead. I really don't care. I don't even know why I was reading that. So we got one more trash can to go. Hold on, everybody. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like Santa Claus is going to move. I don't trust this hoe. I don't trust this hoe ho. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Disgusting. This stinks a lot. Well, close your mouth with your hot ass breath. Santa Claus is still doing his thing. Okay. No problem. No problem. But well, we took out the trash. Time for me to go back in my corner. That's what I like to do in these types of games. Because I know if I'm in the corner, nothing's going to be behind me. That's one of my biggest jump scare fears. Hello. Oh, we have some drunk dude. Wearing a fake Santa beard. And he looks like he stinks. He brought in some flies. Some flies, some flies. Hello, beggar. Merry Christmas, young lady. Could you help an old man who was hungry? Hello, sir. I'm sorry I'm working. Please, I'm very hungry. I just need something to feed me. I'm sorry, sir. I can't. My boss is very strict with his money. Where is your Christmas spirit? Christmas spirit? Today is just another ordinary day. Now go away. Da -da -da. That, that, that. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? He is definitely going to kill this Christmas. Is that blood? Or is that just ass? I'm not sure. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! What? Um... Are you giving him powers? What are you doing? Bro, stop! Stop that! Go away! Go away! And I'll give you a Reese's Pieces. There you go. He likes Reese's Pieces. All right, I think he put some soul. It's kind of like that movie Chucky when that serial killer guy crazy old man Yeah, he was all right. I mean he was just hungry. He wasn't crazy. He was just hungry We all get a little hangry sometimes, but you know the movie Chucky actually it's called child's play It was a serial killer and then he put some spell into a doll and then somebody ends up buying the doll and then the doll comes to life But the serial killer spirit is inside I don't know if anybody's seen that movie, but it used to freak me the hell out as a kid. And also, I remember the Try to Make Me Laugh Challenge. One of them made me laugh so freaking hard. But I know this doll is up to no good. Turn your head at me. Turn your head at me if you love me. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Wait a minute. Yo! Hey! He turned his head! Relax! Santa! What are you doing? He turned his head. Bitch boy turned his head. He was looking straight, and now he's looking out the window. The fuck? Somebody's coming. Okay, somebody's pulling up in the freaking serial killer van. This doll is scary. Looks so real. I agree. My boss is a little crazy. I need gas. $10 at the pump, too. All right. Do you need anything else? They oh, crap. Hey, I saw that, bro. Chill out, Santa! Chill out! My only wish this Christmas is you chill! Gasoline only! Good night, and a Merry Christmas! Thanks, ma'am! Have a great night! And watch your back on the way out! I don't trust anybody! There you go! Two fives in the register! Why are you looking like that? Santa! Don't! Don't! Why are you acting like that? Why are you acting like that, Santa? Relax, bud! Bro, you have no eyes, but you still see? Shit, that woman spilled gasoline on the floor. Gotta clean this up. I didn't even know that. I thought maybe she just peed on the floor because she didn't want to come back inside and pee in the bathroom. How do I clean this up? Don't you freaking look at me, Santa. Don't do it. <laughs> Why does he make me so freaking nervous? Hold on. Where's the thing at? Where's the mop? Do I have a mop? Or do I do it a different way? Okay. He's not looking at us. Oh, crap, everybody. Okay, everybody, clench your butt cheeks. Because I'm pretty sure when I go back there, he's not going to be there. Right? Bucket. Because fuck it. I need to fill it with water. Okay. Santa better not be out here. Come on, man. I see you when you're creeping. Is that what it is? I see you when you're creeping. No, I know when you are sleeping. Whatever. I really don't know, man. Okay. So now we clean gasoline with just water splashes. Yay. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Got it. Got him. Oh, what are you looking at? I swear I saw that doll moving. It must be the wind. It must be the wind. 
Oh, let me see if there's uh, air speed in here or whatever you call it. No, it's just you not noticing things. <gasps> oh, crap. The doll disappeared. It must be that damn beggar making fun of me. Why? Why, why would that be a thing? Why would that be a thing? You think that the beggar is gonna eat that doll Santa? All the guy was asking for was a bite to eat, that's it? That's literally it! And you couldn't even spare him anything! Come on now! You couldn't even spare him anything! Honestly, like if somebody, especially in this cold, was in need, like beggar or not, you should help out somebody. It's just called human decency. Like, I know people ask for money sometimes, and then you don't want to give it to them because you don't know what they're going to spend the money on. But if they're asking for food or maybe like a drink, like water, that's basically... <gasps> Shit, I'm getting scared. Oh, crap. I'm getting scared too. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to get into? Bro, why did that music kick in? That music was kicking like it was six months pregnant. All right. Talk to me. Talk to me. I don't think anybody took that Santa. If anything, that Santa did its own. What is that? Santa? There's Danny Claus! Looking like Freddy Krueger. Looking like the inside of a colonoscopy. You see that flesh looking all like that? How did that happen? Okay, now I'm back in my home. And I'm boozing. Bro, I'm boozing? Okay. I thought I was reading my daughter a bedtime story. No, we're not gonna go in there. The door is locked? Wait, why? What in the world? Hold on. Was the story that bad? Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Midnight Tales Volume 3. I told you that first story was out of this world, so she put a lock on the bottom of her door. Actually, we put the lock on there. Because the lock is from outside. I know who's not winning Parent of the Year awards. 616. Is that the code? I mean, I'm pretty sure, right? Because this game is 616 games. 616. Give me some. Of course. All right. There we go. Daughter. Ew, what? I'm going to get the book to read a story to you, my dear daughter. Did she shit the bed? The story wasn't that scary. Wow, that is weird. Okay. Um, I think our daughter pooed the bed. She actually pooed the room. Unless she wiped her ass with the room. Sit. And that shit. She missed the bucket a few times. Okay, I have no idea what's going on, but this parent-child relationship is not it. I might have to call child services. Let's go to our second story. Our Christmas will be perfect. I think I know what's going on here. Christmas dinner tells the story of two boys who... Okay. I think I know what's going on here, though. I think that the kid is either dead or non-existent, and this person is just, like, losing it, maybe and thinks that they have a daughter or maybe they lost their daughter one of the christmases and now they're just trying to make up for lost time by imagining that they have a kid to read a story to i think that's what's gonna happen i usually am good at predicting these 616 games and that's definitely a serial killer van and it's too cold bro let's get on with it are you sure this won't get us into trouble man relax bro we need a small pine if we don't have it our boss will kill us there are many pines here. No one will notice if one is gone. There are many pines here. No one will notice if one is gone. That's just what I said, Marky. Then you go and I'll wait for you here. I don't want to run into that crazy old man. You can stay there, you coward. I'll be back in a few minutes. Something tells me you won't, Marky. Something tells me Marky won't be back for... I don't remember. Two boys going to Christmas dinner too. I don't even remember what that's called. I need to wait for Marky to come back. Marky's not coming back, so you might as well get going. But let's just wait around here, I guess. Can I just be in my serial killer van? It's freaking cold. Reason my tits off. He's taking a while. I'll wait a little while longer. It says private property, no trespassing. I'm pretty sure he got sniped. Probably got sniped in the forehead by whoever lives down there. I mean, it's a gated community, so you know they take their trespassing seriously. Like, if they're willing to have a big-ass gate to keep you out, I'm pretty sure they got security cameras, bodyguards, all of that. And Marky is probably getting buried in an unmarked grave. If I was a guessing man right now. Shit! I'm gonna look for that asshole. Yeah. I'm gonna look for Marky. Mostly because he's an asshole! 
I don't know why he went alone though. Marky went this way? OH MY GOD! Who the fuck is this bitch? Why are you here? You're trespassing on my property. I'm sorry sir. I'm just looking for my friend. You shouldn't be here. I'm calling the police. Please don't do this. I'm just looking for my friend. Your friend is not here. Go away or suffer the consequences. Well, what's that blood on your shirt right there? I'm pretty sure that's not decor, right? Okay, I'm going. Damn, bro. Looking like Dollar Tree John Cena. Why did he have blood on his shirt, though? That's the thing that I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Scared the shit out of me, bro. Hate jump scares like that. It's just loud noises and an ugly face right in my face. That is so disrespectful. But yeah, let's just stay here. Shit, where are you, Marky? I need to go back there and find him. Bro, you're about to get clapped. This guy's gonna clap you. No? Okay. Well, if the bald guy's not gonna clap, then I'm gonna clap. What's that? What the heck? Pliers. Complimentary horror game flashlight. Let's get to it. Why would somebody hide pliers back here? So dumb, dude. Anyway, yoink. I'm here, bitches! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! There's blood on the floor. That's Marky's blood. I don't need a blood sample because I know. Shit, there's a lot of blood here. I've seen more blood. Honestly, that's like a nosebleed. I've seen way more blood than that. Oh, no, that's a lot of blood. Eh, medium-sized blood. That blood's kind of mid. Door's locked. Okay. I guess I'm going in through the back. No, I'm not. Where am I going? Oh, wait. Um, what? Wait, where am I going? Examine. Ah, the old key under the dog shit rug trick. Okay, got it. Marky, I'm home. Marky, where are you, man? Oh, shoot, that freaking shadow scared the hell out of me. Another one. This game's full of secret cliches, huh? Marky? Marky? Oh, shit, I knew it smelled like Marky. That's definitely Marky. Pull curtain. <laughs> Oh my god, Marky. I need to find the car keys and get out of here. It's in his pants, right? Alright, let's go. I need to get out of here. Bro, how did Marky die that fast? It was like two minutes. Calm down. But I got the keys. Wait, I should be the one having the keys. That doesn't make any sense because I should be the... What the... He came out of nowhere. He was camping. He was waiting for me. Bro, he does look like John Cena. Mom and I were looking for company for Christmas dinner. Goodness. Now let's eat and party like a good family. Okay, but can I get the leg? I'm a leg guy. And maybe a thigh? I thank God for the food and for our new friends. You're a sicko, you know that? You're a sick bastard. But there you go. The most nails on a chalkboard Christmas tune that these two ears have heard. And that's the end of that one. That's a messed up ending right there. Gross. So he had a dead mom, and then he didn't have any friends, so he made us his friends. What a loser. What a freaking joke. But now we're back over here, and we got a note. It says, December 25th, 1988. A serious accident on Highway 315 left two dead. In the middle of Christmas Eve, a drunk driver hit a truck head-on. The only survivor was the driver. His wife and daughter were in the car and couldn't resist. Didn't I say that the daughter was gonna be dead. Didn't I say that? I think I said that. Ew, Bro, it's nasty. Can I open this? No? Oh crap. Why am I nervous? Bro, I'm nervous as shit for some reason. And then now we can't leave. The door is locked. Oh crap. Oh shit, I think something's in the bathroom. <gasps> what? That's my wife! Bro, they're definitely twins. Okay, they look just alike, just different heights. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna read you the bedtime story. You ready for this? Hi, dear daughter. Daddy came to read you another story. Yeah. So, let me take a seat. And let's finish this bad boy. This one's called Super Trash Man, AKA me. This is the last story. I know you love these stories, my daughter. Do you love stories featuring all these flies? 
Super Trash Man tells the story of two men fighting over a toy on Christmas Eve. So the toy is called Super Trash Man? You don't have any better superhero names out there? It's like having a toy called Major Dickhole. Super Trash Man. Haven't heard that ringtone in a long time. John, did you find the doll for our son? I'm in the last toy store I found. All the other stores are sold out. You need to find this doll. Our son is sick because of a toy. Don't forget, the doll is Super Trash Man. If I don't find it in the store, I have nowhere else to look. It's the last door open. Don't go home without this doll. What? What are you gonna do? You gonna punish me? You're not gonna let me go in the store? What's up, bro? Oh, Super Trash Man, I need that. I need that, bro. I need that like I need you. I think we're gonna talk to this guy soon. In a second, in a minute. So no more Super Trash Mans. Why is it 50% off if it's so high in demand? That's bad. That doesn't make sense. Welcome to the best store in the region. Please, sir. I need a specific toy. It's a doll. Super Trash Man. He developed a British accent in mere seconds. Oh, yes. Of course. Everyone wants the Super Trash Man. But unfortunately, I'm out of stock. And then the old man developed a British accent after hearing the other guy develop an accent, too. So that's how it happened. Please! My son is sick because of this doll. I'm sorry, sir. So I sold the last one to that man out there. I'll go talk to him. Oh, I need this doll. I do. I need it bad. Hey, sir. Good night, sir. Please, do you sell me this doll? My son is very sick wanting this toy. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. If I come home without this doll, my wife will kill me. This man developed a British accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what am I doing, bro? Oh no, I'm so sorry. If I come home without this doll, my wife will kill me. Please, I really need to get the doll home. I'm sorry, that won't be possible. Have a good night and Merry Christmas. Isn't it Happy Christmas with British people? No? Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas too, Ron. Happy Christmas too, Hermione. Oh, shit. John! Where are you? Our son has a fever. Did you find the doll? Our spouse developed a British accent after hearing us converse. Hi, honey. I'm so sorry. A man bought the last doll in the store. I have nowhere else to look. You must get this doll. Whatever the cost. I'll find a way. Be quick. Our son is in very bad shape. Man, come on. Really? You want me to pull the Glock out the car? What do you want me to do? I think I need to kill this mother sucker. Alright. Um, we are technically in a back alley. And that's my serial killer name. Let's get to it. Wait, what? How do I kill this hoe? Wait, what? Yo, how do I kill this hoe? Bro, don't back up yet. One second. Hey! Wait a minute. Nope. Buddy. Relax. Excuse me. Sir. Fuck. I guess I follow him? No? What do I do? I'll follow him. I need this doll. Yeah, there we go. Follow him home and get some road rage. This is ridiculous, bro. Over a toy too? I get that our kid is in bad shape, but Super Trash Man? You couldn't idolize any other superhero out there? What about Spider-Man, huh? Come on, Trash Man? Fuck no. That's ridiculous, man. I can't. I can't. It couldn't be me. But we followed this man to the middle of buttfuck nowhere. And I can't go through here because invisible video game barriers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in my car. And no, I'm not. I'm gonna get in my back seat. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get in my trunk. Oh. <laughs> I already knew that I wasn't gonna get super trash, man. That's why I came prepared. That's why your boy came prepared. I'm sorry. I need to take the doll to my son. I'm gonna edit that part out, everybody, because that was extremely messed up. But let's just assume that we all know exactly what happened there. And I will say that he wasn't alone at the house. But we got the doll. But wowie, wowie, wowie. But we are back, everybody. We are back in reality. And that's the note that I saw earlier. And what else? What? Can't go in the room? What is that? Missing child. Sophie, age nine. Oh shit, wait, is Sophie not dead? What is going on? 
Yeah, Sophie. <gasps> Wait. Okay, so our daughter didn't die in a crash? I tried to move on, but you're not her. You're not my daughter. Oh, no. We kidnapped somebody? Oh, that is messed up. So that person's actually alive. Oh, crap. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can we get a different ending? I don't like that. That's not a good ending. Bro, come on. We're supposed to be getting into the Christmas spirit. I tried to be a good father. I gave you love. And you won't even look at me. I mean, you kidnapped this person. Unfortunately, you don't look like her. Merry Christmas, Sophie. Can we use the knife to cut the chains? Oh, wow. Raphael Braza, what do you want, bro? Wow. Okay, so uh, that happened. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that ending. I thought maybe like the little games in between the main game were going to be like fun and silly. That last one was extremely messed up. The first two, okay, I kind of understand. But then the third one and then the way the game ended, no me gusta. I did not like that one. But that is going to do it for Midnight Tales Volume 3. I'm always interested to check out 616 games because I feel like they're not afraid to like do shit like that. But whether or not I like it is my own opinion and I didn't enjoy that ending and I didn't enjoy the ending to the third game. But let me know what y'all thought about it in the comment section down below. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video anyway. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.